Hello everybody, this is a very brief and very opinionated video about JSON schema and the path it's going in terms of standardization. Just today they released a little statement saying that they're abandoning the standardization process they've been using. You can't really say using, but they've been kind of using so far, which is the IETF process. And that's probably a good thing. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about what JSON schema is and does and why it's important and why maybe rethinking the decision they made today might be a good idea. And for all of you watching, I think it's really important that we keep an eye on how standardization is going. It's really important. I know that for some people it seems maybe a little not though interesting or it's too slow or something like that. But it is really important because we all want to make computer systems interoperate and this takes standards. Maybe not for everything and maybe not always, but for the foundational pieces we really need standards. We need stable standards, but we also need standards that can evolve. And this is exactly where JSON schema, I think, like has a little bit of a conundrum. So let's look at what they said today. So they've been publishing IETF drafts. And I think the big problem always was that JSON schema never really used the IETF standards process really the way it's intended to be used. And this caused some friction. And I don't want to put any blame on the IETF or JSON schema. It doesn't really matter in that case. But I think it's important to realize that the difficulties with the IETF process were mostly around the mismatch on how the standard is supposed to work and the way that JSON schema wants or wanted to work. So I think because of this mismatch, this process didn't go too well and that's fine. So the situation needs to be changed. But now what they've published is a decision that says we're going to roll our own. And I think that is a tricky path to go. It's possible, but getting processes right is hard. And standardization organizations spend a lot of time and effort on trying to do that, gathering communities, making sure everybody understands how the process works, making sure everybody is able to participate, all these kind of things. And it's, it's not an easy thing to do. So I think there's a lot of value in really examining whether a standardization process works for you or not. And I'm not sure exactly how far they really went down this line of analyzing what doesn't work so well right now between kind of the ITF model and the model that Jason Schema wants to follow. But it seems that concluding from that mismatch of the past to a canned process is not something that we want to do. It seems a little quick. That's my one conclusion that I had from today's news that maybe just looking at the past and saying, okay, let's just roll our own. How hard can it be? Right? I think that's, that's one of the things that a lot of decisions that are made that way in the end, you say, well, it actually turned out to be quite a bit harder than we thought it might be. That's the one thing. And the second thing, and that's maybe a little bit more philosophical, so to speak, almost is that in their release, and I'll link to that from the description, what they said is that they don't want to follow the process of organizations like IETF and W3C, which publish standards and then those are stable, they may get revised, but typically they actually are stable over quite a period of time. And what the statement says is that this is not how we want to work. We want to work more like a programming language that is constantly refining and adding features and then it's kind of a, a uh, definition in progress. And that's the part where I'm just wondering is that really what JSON schema should be or what JSON schema is? Is it a programming language? I think you can really ask yourself, how do you standardize technology? If it's a programming language, then you can think, okay, this is a tool somebody uses. If they want to move up um, to a new version or something, they can do that. If not, they, they can just not do that. So there's more freedom because you just hand somebody a environment where they develop and that can evolve over time and they make the decisions how far or how quickly they want to follow along with the evolution of the technology. I think the important difference here is that JSON schema in my mind, and I'm certainly biased here, but JSON schema is much more in the interoperability space. So it's more a protocol 
in my mind, than a programming language. It's more about interoperability. It's about communicating with somebody who's using OpenAPI or who's using Async API about what does the payload look like and can we agree on a JSON schema description of that. And I think one good data point along those lines is also that OpenAPI at some point decided to kind of fork JSON schema because they needed a stable version. And I'm not sure that I really follow the reasoning that JSON schema shouldn't have stable versions. In my mind, JSON schema would work better and would be a better technology for the community that at least as far as I can tell is the most invested community in JSON schema. It would better serve that community if it had more stable versions and then would have a good path how to upgrade across those versions and do that occasionally and not continually. It's, it is, like I said, this, this part is, I think, more a philosophical discussion. And I'm certainly very biased coming from an API angle and coming also from a standardization angle. When you look at technologies like OpenAPI or XML or HTTP or TCP IP, like all these interoperability technologies, I think benefit a lot from having stable versions, not evolving too quickly, evolving along a very, very clearly defined path of how evolution is supposed to happen. And I think that makes it much more useful for people to use that technology. Okay, that's it. That was my uh, rant of the day, so to speak. If you have any opinion on how far um, JSON schema worked for you this, this far along the way, so did it work the way you expected? Were you a little bit confused by maybe the, the versions, the versioning scheme, by the way how it evolves over time? really make yourself heard. There's an ongoing discussion on GitHub as well. I'll link to that from the description as well. I think it's important that those of us who are using that technology make their opinion heard. I just voiced mine. It's just one opinion you can have. But I think it is important that we all care about standardization because this is really what allows us to communicate and to build large systems in the end. If we don't have good standardization in place, we make things much harder for us than they would have to be. So if you have any opinion about this, any feedback, please leave your comment below. I think it really is an important discussion to have. I was very surprised by the news today. And um, with that, I'm done for today. Thanks very much for watching. And I'm really curious to see how this will end. Until then, all the best and keep getting APIs to work. Bye-bye.